Hey, Box here. It finally arrived. No, not your Christmas present Fox themed mugs that you can go ahead and buy at www.com. We have Team Diamonds, okay? So, with that said, what is going on, right? Because the rest of it we kind of understand. Cat, uh, cover Athletes promo, we went through that yesterday in that video. That should be live probably when you're watching this video, actually, because I'm recording it kind of late. We have Team of the Week, Angry Runs, Harvest Release 2. We don't know what Harvest is going to be, right? 92s, 93s, a lot of speculation in the community since we're getting 93s again today for Limiteds. Um, Harvest, you know, maybe there's some thought about, like, it was just being delayed a week and it was supposed to be 92s last week, so we'll see what comes. But I also... One thing on the schedule I want to talk about, November 29th, 7 p.m. Eastern, there is a, uh, a, a GMM, a late night GMM going over these Team Diamonds. So how to prep is the biggest thing. Because here's the thing. It's going to get expensive. I think the biggest thing that I worry about in the Team Diamonds is like the golds. and Because like last year, people were getting banned for golds being high priced because EA's got a terrible detection system. Um, they don't understand like supply and demand changes over time. Like, oh, you bought a card slightly overpriced, banned. So Team Diamonds oftentimes uh, echoes in a uh ban wave for a lot of people that are stuck in limbo for weeks at a time waiting for es customer service to do anything at all uh but uh the names are cool i guess like the company is run by incompetence but at least the nfl players that we can potentially get uh for the uh, actual team diamonds are neat and that's all i gotta say about that like I, I, here's the thing all right you guys know fox sets metas right and i feel like everybody's following the fox meta when people ask about team diamond predictions We've been doing the same joke for years, but now I see everybody's joke uh, doing the same. Hey, everybody's just getting team guys uh, for their, their team diamonds that have also been Steelers, have also been whatever other team you want. So, feels good, man. Always ahead of the meta, aren't we? Uh, but anyways, it's funny because like uh, you know I do my joke list. I did my joke list a few years ago, like getting Dolphins Joey Porter. We had a guy Joey Porter, but like and then I made like a serious list. This is I think Madden 21's version of it. And like I went through and like highlighted a bunch of the guys we got. I think we actually did. We, I think we did. We get the senior Clay Matthews. I don't remember. Darren Woodson. We got two. Um, Olin Krutz, I believe, has been in game. Um, so like even the guys that I didn't highlight because they hadn't been in the game yet have been in the game since then. So yeah, oh, Fanica has been in the game. Uh, we still haven't got Carnell Lake or Donnie Shell. Um, Drew Arch is always fun. But anyways, he has done a pretty decent job adding names over the last few years to Mutt. Um, which is a big W. It's not like I'm with the show who's just lazy with the legends. And it's also not on the other end of the spectrum, 2K, who has like every single player ever to play. But that's because they have a very special licensing right in 2K that's different than the NFL as far as getting guys uh, that have been retired. So just the, the league's a little easier to get it um, for NBA, if I recall correctly. But let's talk about investing, right? So talk about last year's sets, right? Here's shout out to Mutthead, RKA. Uh, put this together a year and a month ago. Really, really awesome work. Did some Yeoman's work right here. I think his believe is referred to as. So, I'll link this in the description for last year's sets. Okay, but basically it was like golds above like seventy five overall for teams. Eighties, eighty ones, eighty twos, eighty threes. Now these were these were ninety twos last year, which I guess would fit with our current overall structure of ninety twos. Um, so some teams didn't have enough like uh, 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 training because you guys know EA, they always seem to want more training into sets than you get out of it for the card. So they want to balance out that by sometimes they just add wild cards also to the set just to add a little bit extra uh, of value that needs to go into it for the card. They don't need to do that, but they do. Uh, Bengals got the same thing, some 87s here, um, 85s, 84s. So it's a really intensive, intensive um process team diamonds now last year they were insanely profitable making and selling john madden for eight million coins what he was going for it was insane uh because he was the best quarterback in the game now i truly hope we don't get a quarterback again because we got a quarterback for the last few years and for those that are looking for anthony richardson i would assume now that he's gone down in price since team diamonds announced he's usually we get some crazy cards the top end of the market like, these 92 Blitz cards should not be very expensive since I, I think we're getting a whole bunch of 92s here um, in a few days. So if I have, and I do have a few 92 Blitz cards, yeah, it looks like they've gone down 100K since last night. They were like 900 to a million, at least on the market. Richardson, 
890. If you really love him, don't want any other quarterback, sure you can grab him, but uh, some crazy new cards, at least high-end cards. We could be taking a dip since we're getting 32 new 92s plus a potential 96 overall, like John Madden was a 96 overall last year, which I personally enjoy when there's like one crazy high overall card in the game. It's like, oh my gosh, this guy's, this guy's insane. And that's kind of fun because it's memorable, right? Like, the only card... Like, there's a few cards I remember about Madden 23. Parham. John uh, uh, John Elway is definitely one of them uh, because of how powerful they were. And that's kind of neat to kind of, like, differentiate the years and uh, how the game is. So, I'm personally open for, like, you know, Ryan Shazier, 96 speed um, with Lurk Artist for free. Like, something like... Something on the defensive side, since offense is so powerful, just help balance it out a little bit. But maybe Ray Lewis here in a few minutes will come out with Lurk Artist for free, and then uh, Shaz won't be as insane. But uh, I guess we'll see. So look through this list as things to pre prepare either for your favorite team, if you're just going to add your guy for your theme team, or if you're going to go crazy um, and uh, do a bunch of uh, these sets and sell them and make your way and do the whole thing and try and profit off the, the big sell of the big card. You can go ahead and try and get as many as possible because this is this is crazy, dude. This is actually uh, they had team affinity, so I would expect. I don't know. Do you guys expect division dynasty cards here? Let's go take a look at the division dynasty on the auction house at the moment because um, these are the biggest question marks if they're going to be in the set. I, just having like a bunch of cards that you can make division dynasty sets, it, it, it's not a bad idea. Depends on how stuffed your binder is. Uh, but having the Division Dynasty cards to make the 88s instead of just having the 88s might be a better solution since if the 88 Division Dynasties aren't in the sets, then you can just use those lower cards, which generally will be in the sets, not necessarily guaranteed, but generally um, uh, uh, to make the big cards or to make the set itself instead or just sell back to the auction house. So buying cards at training value now... Um, uh, not a bad idea. If overall like goes up in the market crash, then obviously um, investing in cards right now isn't a good idea. But we'll of course see. There's a lot of like like axes flying in the air right now. Um, so overall, like I, I just remember the ones that went up a lot were like like these freaking some of these some of these teams had insane kickers and punters in here. Um, and like Matt, the thing is like Madden 23 had punters and special teamers in here. Madden 22 did not. So I don't know if EA is going to go back to including special team guys because it feels like they get pulled at a lower rate than just regular cards. Or if they're going to uh, uh, just go like Madden 23 and include some special team players uh, in in their uh, like gold sets again um, or not. So that is really it. It is it is insane. The, the, the thing about this is like I almost feel like... So there's we got 1,700 cards in our binder. It almost feels like... It requires, there's more cards that you put into Team Elites than you can even put in your binder at one time, it feels. So, I don't know. It's it's a really difficult promo to do. It's, it's, it's a dedication set. I think, like, last year it took me, like, 10 hours to do. 10 hours hunting for cards on the auction house trying for that. Um, but there's there's the prep Team Diamonds. It's, it's absolute insanity. It is kind of fun, though. It's finally something like the Do and Mutt. Versus just like opening packs and losing coins, right? It's finally something. Obviously, like I've tried to stress over the last few days, doing sets during Blitz have been highly profitable. Um, so hopefully you guys have uh, been able to make quite a bit of coins off Raw Hot sets and uh, 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 profit that way. So, that's kind of what I want to talk about today. All right? I, I, like, I just want to, like, we'll probably talk more about Team Diamonds going forward. Um, overalls to look at some more going forward, but I just want to kind of like prep you guys. Team Diamonds is huge. I feel like I'm missing something. Uh, let me know in the comments who you guys want for Team Diamonds for your team, um, other than just you know every single team um, getting the same thing. It is it is insane. I like setting metas. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys later.